building's history, know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, Raisins. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Death's in the air. And there's free coffee in the lobby. Only one of you will survive. Also, if you have any feedback on the hotel side of things, please pull me aside during the game. I'm all ears. Okay, first question. Who's a somnambulist? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. Come with me. Welcome to room 101. It's non-smoking. This one's just about me giving you a gift. All this family stuff holds bad memories for me. So I'd rather pass that burden on to you. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Oh, my mother's wig. Is she... Are you... Oh, Mother, it's you! I thought you were dead! That must be someone else's skeleton in the attic. This elevator's a real death trap. For real, though. Let's try another one. In boxing terminology, what does the T stand for in TKO? Who picked this? Oh no, Mother! I couldn't bear to send you to the killing floor! I think I'll punish everyone else instead. Welcome to Room 217! It's the mind meld. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Including any potential mind readers. Answer time is coming to an end. You didn't answer. That's a real jerk move. Anyway, let's see what everyone else did. Idiots, I would have guessed that one. We're not done with you yet. You're a ghost now. Keep playing, and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. Besides a bloody surprise, why would I be seeing red in a black forest cake? still alive. Time for consequences.
Let's do a spooky handwriting test. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. Start writing on that mirror. Pay attention to the words as they appear and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? You know what that means. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! The International Space Station is about the same size as... what? Follow me. It's math! One of my least requested mini-games. Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If any of them do better than you, you'll die. Let's go! Make sure to show your work. Ha! Remember that. This is pretty much the end of the time. This is what they mean by aftermath. Let's try another one. Where did Cirque du Soleil begin all their weird circus stuff? <laughs> Who picked? This. I can't protect you forever, Mother. I want to show you something. Let's roll them bones. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. Honestly, it's mostly just an excuse to use these cool skull dice. Almost up. I see you're unlucky in dice. I'm so happy you're playing my game, Mother. You look a little different than I remember, but I'm sure that's just a me thing.
Let's keep moving. Who is not a puppet? Who picked this? It's time. It's the pegs game. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm, someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Hey you, pick the landing slots that kill. Hurry along! Okay! Let the game... Yay! Physics! Oh, I am filled with rage about the whole nobody dying thing. Let's try another one. In what Edgar Allan Poe story is somebody killed because they have a weird eye? Who picked this? Come with me. Ah, the spirit of giving. You each get $500. Give some of that money to your friend. The person who ends up with the most money will die. But there's a catch. If one of you ends up with $800 or more, I'll kill the other one instead. Begin. Let's see who gave what to who. It looks like money is the root of all your... something, something. Look, I'm still trying to work on a good line for this one. Let's keep moving. I'm a huge fan of Harper Lee's instruction manual, How to Kill a Mockingbird. Which famous author was novelist Harper Lee's neighbor and childhood friend? <laughs> Who picked this? Time for consequences. Just like Ariana Grande, I'm addicted to Quiplash. The game will send a question to your devices. Enter the best answer you can think of and hit send. I made this timer longer so you could write something funny and then maybe do some light stretching or something. Let's see the funny ha ha's. A good substitute for human contact. Ugh, oh, will I ever see the sun again? All right, everyone else, vote for the answer you like the best. The player who wrote the answer with the fewest votes dies. Okay, let's see what people think. The people have spoken.
Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Human Body Systems. Tap each answer that fits the category, and then press Submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping! Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aww, that's cute! If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Horse breeds. Crayola crayon colors. Don't fall behind. It's only darkness. Monsters mentioned in the song, The Monster Mash. Time is almost up! The darkness approaches. Newspaper comic strips.
Oh, hello again, Mother. Congrats on beating my game, but I'm starting to suspect that maybe you're not my real mother, and that would be bad. So I have one more question for you. What did you call me as a baby? You know, the German word for shrew. If you're really my mother, you should know this one. Hurry up! Let's see if you're really my mom! Well, good work on fooling me this long. I really thought you were my mother, but since you're obviously not, I guess I have to kill you now. You know how it is.